Okay, so today we're going to be talking about special products of polynomials. The first one that we're going to be looking at is the square of a binomial pattern. What that means is if we have a plus b squared, then we can look at it as a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. And we're going to do an example of that just so it becomes more clear in a little bit. We also, it also, if we have a minus b squared, that's equal to a squared minus 2 times ab times b squared, or plus b squared, excuse me. And we're also going to look at an example of that so it becomes more clear. So, as an example for the a plus b squared, I have 3x plus 4 squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is square my a, which is a 3x. So I'm going to do 3x times 3x, which gives me 9x squared. Then I'm going to do plus 2 times 3x and times 4, because 3x is my a and 4 is my b, plus b squared, which is 4 squared, and that's 16. So now that turns into 9x squared plus 2 times 3x equals 6x times 4 is going to give me 24x plus 16. And that's going to be my answer. Okay, for my example of a minus b squared, I have 5x minus 2y squared. So here I'm going to do a squared, which is 5x, and 5x squared is going to give me 25x squared minus 2 times 5x times b, which would be 2y and notice I did not take my negative with me, I just brought over the 2y plus 2y squared, which is going to be 4y squared. Now when I bring this down, it's going to give me 25x squared minus 2 times 5 is 10, times 2 is 20, and then there's an x and a y in there plus 4y, not x, 4y squared. And this is going to be my answer. 25x squared minus 20xy plus 4y squared. Next, we're going to look at the FOIL pattern. So, FOIL stands for front, outside, inside, and last. So I'm going to multiply in this order. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the front two. So the front x and this x. So x times x, which is going to give me x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the outsides, multiply the outsides, so that's this x and this 3 because they're both on the outside of the equation, which is going to, or excuse me, this negative 3 because that negative is there, which is going to give me negative 3x. Then I want to do the insides, and I'm just following this pattern here, so 2 times x going to be plus 2x, and then I want to do, excuse me, not this one, the last two numbers. So that's going to be 2 and the 3, because they're the last two in each of these polynomials. So 2 times negative 3, negative 6. Once I get to this point, I'm just going to combine like terms. So, x squared, there's no other x squared, so that just moves down. Negative 3x plus 2x is going to give me negative x minus 6. 
So this will be my answer. The last pattern we're gonna look at is the sum and difference pattern. The sum and difference pattern is if I have a plus b times a minus b, that's gonna equal out to a squared minus b squared, okay? So if I'm given t minus five times t plus five, then all I have to do is square the first two, so t times t, and t times t is t squared, and then square the two b's, negative five and five, so negative five times five, is gonna be negative 25. And this is my answer, t squared minus 25. For your practice problems, I want you to do these three things. For the first one, you're gonna use the square of a binomial pattern and work out two x plus one squared. For the second one, you're gonna use FOIL and it's x plus four times x minus three. And for the third one, you're going to use the sum and difference pattern, and you're going to do x plus 10 times x minus 10. Remember to take a picture of these and submit them as an assignment on Edmodo, and good luck.